What's going on, people? It's your man, the YB, back once again. So, Devin, the dream Haney, has reacted to Spence versus Crawford. He said, Bud, beat the ish out of Earl. Now, listen, Devin, man, with all due respect, yeah, you don't know none about either man, to be quite frank. And that's why I like Devin Haney. I like his attitude. Devin Haney... In fact, Devin Haney's more real outside of the ring. He fought Loma. Well, tell lie. He probably should have rematched Loma, but nonetheless, I'm going to let him off the hook because I believe Pro Gray is a worse fight for him than Loma. Pro Gray is a big dude. Well, he's not in height, but he's heavy-handed, and he's another southpaw. So that tells me either Devin Haney's team are bugging, or he with the shits. Yeah? Because it, it don't make no sense. Devin Haney knows he can't fight southpaws. He can't do it. He, he, he can't use his jab against southpaws, which makes him useless. Devin Haney is a jab. You understand? But still, so I respect Devin Haney for the most part outside of the ring. He doing Look at Tank. Tank ain't fighting Loma. Tank duck Loma, categorically. Tank ain't fighting Pro Gray. And in fact, Tank has been world champion like four years before Devin Haney was. Tank a bum slayer. You understand? He fought Rolly Romero in his second to last fight. Rolly Romero is useless, people. And even then, I think he was making hard work of it, for what it's worth. Rolly was winning some of the rounds as well. Like, damn. Anyway. So, yeah, I respect Devin Haney outside of the ring. But the bottom line is, in the ring, he shouldn't be talking about this. The other day, I used a two-pack anecdote. Well, not anecdote, but a two-pack lyric. When grown folk talking, keep your mouth shut. Yeah? And I feel Errol Spence and Terence Crawford are grown folk to Devin Haney. Bud beating... Listen, with all due respect, Devin, yeah? You was in there crying to daddy. I didn't hear Errol Spence saying, oh, he keep hitting me in the head real hard. Which is... Which, he wasn't lying, was he? That's the thing about it as well. I didn't see Errol Spence in the corner say, oh, he hit me, daddy, he hit me hard in the head loads of times, every round. Errol Spence would have been well within his right if he was corny like Devin Haney. Yeah, Errol Spence would be well within his right if he was a cornball like Devin Haney inside the ring. To be sitting in there after round two and se or round three, in fact, all the rounds after round one. Errol Spence had every right to say, daddy... He keep hitting me loads in the head from everywhere. I can't. I don't know what's going on. He didn't. He suck it up. Yeah. So keep these kind of, in my opinion, keep these comments. Unless you're getting it like that. People who can comment on this year is people who have been through it. Don't speak about things you ain't been through. He beat in the. Trust me. If you had to let your hands go, Devin, Loma might have beat the ish out of you too. See what I mean? Devin was in there politicking. Bottom line. So he, you don't know what was, what, who might be doing what to who. Because you were in there negotiating the fight. I mean, even Cambosis. Cambosis, I would have made loads of money as well that night. I had a bet on, I had, who was it? I put 100 quid on Caleb Plant to knock out that dog guy in 9 to 12. And I put 100 pound, no, sorry, it was a double bet. It was, yeah, it was Caleb and that guy got his name some sort of dog guy it's the one that Caleb buried and then Devin Haney no it's 50 quid I put 50 quid on a double and the odds were like 10 to 1 each so it turned out to be 100 to 1 so you put 50 bucks on you make 5 bags and that was a Cam Cambosis rematch so Caleb Plant smoked on that dude and Devin Haney sat back and did none Cambosis was begging to go but Devin he ain't got no power and no ambition he ain't got the ambition that Terence Crawford or Errol Spence has. That's just the truth. Outside the ring, he has some ambition, i.e. he fights good people. Outside the ring, he has the good rah-rah. Yeah, don't forget when he was pushing on Loma. Inside the ring, though, unfortunately, he's another new age dude. Yeah, good at, good at doing everything but actually to fight, if that makes sense. Yeah, he takes risks, but when he gets in the ring, he don't take risks. Same with Shakur. Shakur take risks outside the ring. But don't do none inside the ring. You know what I mean? Again, these two men are grown folk. And I've seen Terence Crawford. Even though Crawford hasn't been through it like 
Errol Spence has, I've seen Crawford in there with Sean Porter and be told you're losing this fight. Terence Crawford didn't do a Devin Haney. Oh, he keep hitting me in the head. Terence Crawford came out on his job looking to secure the W. When Devin Haney get told he losing, he didn't do none. Did he? What did he do? Nothing. He politicked his way through and hoped for the best and hoped that someone got him on the card, which turned out to be the case. And the money the money line doesn't lie. Loma was like a free to one favourite at the end. So Loma won the fight. I think really fight should be determined by the money line. Because that's independent. No one's going to put money on someone if they're getting their ass whooped. So it should. we don't need judges. The money line will judge the fight. Bottom line. And the money line said Devin Haney got his ass whooped. So it is what it is. But still, I believe if Devin Haney knew some about the Errol Spence, about the way Errol Spence be living, he would have won that fight. Or he could have won the fight against Loma. But he didn't. He just sat back and oh, went out sad, essentially. Anyway... He also put out another post. And in fact, in conclusion, what I'm getting at is, yeah. Like, worry about your own business. Because you ain't, to all due respect, Devin, you ain't whooping no one like Spence was getting whooped. How would you, how can you comment about who getting, who doing what? You don't know none about either of them two things. You don't know none about whooping someone like Terence Crawford was whooping. And you don't know none. Tell like, Devin Haney good at whooping people in the gym. Yeah, if there's some D-level young, if there's some D-level fighter in the gym, Devin Haney will whoop on him, and that's why that's where I do lose respect or have lost respect for Devin Haney. Yeah, him and all of his corny ass cheerleaders. They be in there, some E-level dude in there sparring, and Devin Haney getting off on him, and they're all going, "Oh, he the greatest, he the greatest." Two twos. Devin Haney in there with someone who wants some. Oh, oh, oh. Daddy, daddy, he hit me in the mouth, daddy. Like, wow. Yeah, what happened to all that energy? I don't know, you, t- you tell me. What happens to the doghouse energy when Devin Haney whooping on some bum? Inspiring. That's my beef with Devin Haney. Be consistent. Anyway. Be consistent or sit down somewhere and be quiet. Yeah? Don't be talking about grown folk business. That's a key principle, people, within the community. Don't talk about grown folk business. When you're a, when you're a child here and you're listening and... You hear, you hear growing people conversation. You shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, and that's what I feel like this is to Devin Haney. Spence and Crawford was grown folk business to Devin Haney. He shouldn't be listening. He shouldn't be commenting. He shouldn't be listening. He shouldn't be none. All he should be doing really is is respecting the game. I respect that. Yeah, put, let me put some... What Devin Haney should have said is not, oh, he beating the ish out of him. He should have put some respect on both of their names. Yeah, I respect Terence Crawford. I respect the way Errol Spence took that whooping. Like a man. I respect the way that Errol Spence took his grown folk whooping. Something I'm scary to do. You see what I mean? That's how the angle he should have come from. Damn, that's how real dudes get down. They either whoops up, tear someone ass up. Again, both sides, people. Terence, Terence Crawford, he tearing someone ass up like they grown folk. Errol Spence, he taking a whooping like he grown folk. Devin Haney... In there, literally like a little boy. Oh, daddy. Daddy, hit me twice. Wow. You see, it literally is the perfect thing. Yeah? Devin ain't a little boy in the ring. This is what the evidence shows. And he, now you want to talk about grown folk? No. Anyway. I do want to see this again at 154. I think Errol was just too drained. Um... You know what, I think I'll cover this on another day. Let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, and let off the 100%, no doubt.